Hello and welcome. Today we learn something about gun safety. No, not really, but we will need this for later. Because the YouTuber Scratch Bashing did a video a week ago with a challenge to create something with a hot glue gun, and that's what I did. I gathered some metal bits and began. I wanted to do something that would and go with my Adeptus Plantanicum model I did a while back ago. Some sort of giant that a model can ride, I thought. I glued two metal parts on the base. To create some detail, I wrapped the glue from the one end to the other and then glued the arms to the top. After I did this, I bulked out the arms with a bit of cardboard. Also, I put some cardboard on the arms and legs to make them thicker. To give the torso a bit of shape, I glued some styrofoam bits on the front and back. And now to the gimmick of the model. I used the coupon card, hashtag not sponsored, and cut it in the form of an ellipse, with the middle part being a round part to let my model stand on it. To create some sort of high ground or for transportation purposes. Then, to give my plant giant a weapon, I sawed a piece of wood to size and glued it to his arm to create a hammer arm hand. And now to my favorite part, the covering the model in plastic plants. I started with the left arm to give him a claw hand and some vines going up his arm. Then I started covering the whole model in leaves. After this, I filled in the gaps with my modeling clay and made some rocks for holding the platform. Also with the clay I had something to put my flowers on top of the platform. After this was all done I covered the bag also in leaves and then began with the painting part of this video. I first painted the hammer arm in a very diluted dark brown to make a bit of a glaze and not to get rid of my wood details in the hammer. After I covered the whole arm in a dark brown, I put some yellow into the mix to create a highlight color and dry brushed it on. After the wood I painted all the plants in a dark green. This part here took me the most time, so if you are building something similar, take your time with it. After an hour of painting green, I painted the rocks in a light grey but later changed it to a yellow, muddy yellow mix, some sort. Uh, but the great thing is with making something that came out of the woods, it's the ground is not always one color. You can always mix it up, so just have a good time and slap some paint on your model. After I let this all dry, I dry brushed on the plants with a lime green. Then to break up from all the greens and browns, I put some orange and red on the flowers. Then the best thing of the entire build, the wet blending. <laughs> I oriented myself with the taser of my holy saint of the plants to give my giant eye some life. So I began with my red ground color and built up with yellow a middle radiant blend. To get a pure yellow center I dried the model and then painted the color. To make some sort of lens effect I took a small drop of white and only tipped my brush a little in it and then dotted the left side of the lens or the eye. To get my dark red color, uh, I mixed some red and some black and then roughly etched highlighted around my eye. Now to the base, I painted the base in a dark blue color and then I was done. Thank you for watching and also thanks to Scratch Bashing for making this challenge. Uh, always like and subscribe if you feel like it and see you next time.